So there's a lot of things going on in this opening sequence between Robert Whitaker and Kelvin Gastelum here. Uh, you can see that Whitaker is using a little bit of a rhythm step, which has been kind of demonized a lot lately uh, as being just uh, something that people can just use for their own timing, which can be true. But uh, I also think it's very effective at holding people off and keeping them honest. You know, he used the rhythm step here, fakes a sidekick and gets Kelvin to kind of back off and respect it. He, used, he rhythm steps again, uses that sidekick again and gets Gaslam out of the center. And from here, he's controlling the center, he's using the leg kicks, you know, showing little feints, using hand control, backing off when he needs to and spacing. And he's even able to land that right cross very beautifully by doing so. Uh, I think a rhythm step can be used effectively if done right. A lot of fight left here. Ooh wee, that was hard. So just to show that I'm an equal opportunist here, uh, there's here's an example of the rhythm step both succeeding and failing at the very same time. We see here that Gastelum does his rhythm step. He goes back, he goes forward. At the same time, Robert Whitaker is just bouncing right in place and it allows him to set up and explode faster into his cross. We're gonna see it again here. When you see Gastelum bounces back and then forward and then moves in aggressively, it's like a tell for Whitaker to just explode. Whitaker bounces down once and then goes straight to the target with his right hand and this is a perfect example of how the rhythm stuff can work against or for you.